Either fellows. So check this out. We were rolling this wheel right here, and what's funny is that at some point it slipped and fell over. We had a bit of a laugh on account of the summer tire of freezing and losing grip. But you might recall how some time ago, back in the small garage, we amplified the grip of a summer tire by sticking bandages to it. This is something we knew about uh, since back when we were in school. And there's a certain other recipe where you take the sole of your shoe, or any other surface for that matter. You apply some glue to it and uh, pepper it with a bit of salt. And so the thought occurred to us, why not try that same recipe, but with tires? I mean, in theory, this sort of treatment should make it less susceptible to slippage on ice. I mean, sand is going to be able to handily grip even an icy surface. So we got a tire, sourcing uh, some glue shouldn't be an issue, let alone sand. And so let's modify a couple of summer tires and see how they treat us. All right, let's do this. Big thanks for your support, guys. Your likes, views, comments. And as a token of our appreciation, we've prepared an awesome surprise. We've collabed with a few professional artists and designers to make six posters depicting some of our most iconic builds. And we're giving you the opportunity to buy a digital copy of one of those posters. And at a bargain price, just two dollars a piece. And if you order all six posters at once, the entire set is only gonna cost you ten dollars. After payment goes through, the posters will be emailed to you in high resolution. You can print them, hang them on your wall, or give them as a gift. By purchasing these posters, you will really help support our channel in these difficult times. The more of these posters we are able to sell, the more great content we will be able to make for you in the future. So if you want to support our channel, go ahead and buy a digital download. Links in the description. We glue sand to summer tires for grip on ice. Will it work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. We have subjected the tires to a bit of prep. You would have seen us rubbing them with sandpaper. The point of that is to get a sort of hone going. But then with how old these are, there are plenty of scratches anyway. Anyway, we've degreased them and are preparing to apply this wonderful adhesive. That's where we were drying the sand. We used a regular old blowtorch for that. The instructions say we need to apply one layer of glue, then another one which we'll allow to dry for a bit. And uh, from there we just roll it back and forth in the sand. We don't want anything to contaminate the glue, just the sand that's supposed to stick to it very well. And we'll see how these tires look with the sand stuck to them. Well, let's get to it. Okay, we've made it out onto the test track. The car is currently fitted with, uh, well, they're the same summer tires at all four corners. And now I'm gonna try... Yeah, let's try accelerating. And after that I'm gonna try and stop the car. Okay, let's see how this thing do. Zero to 40 kilometers an hour, let's go. How do I even do this? Come on, grip. Come on now. We've gotten up to 20. 30. There we are. 40. And that was 27 seconds, oh my word. You took a full 27 seconds to get up to 40 kilometers an hour. My goodness. <laughs> now let's uh, check the stopping distance. On the summer tires we are currently running. I'm going 37, 38, 39, 40. Come on. 
Come on, break. Hooray, it has stopped. Now let me just place the cone. I'll put it right next to where I'm sitting. Across from the B-pillar. And now let's uh, go out and measure the stopping distance. To get an accurate assessment of the actual stopping distance, and not just a rough guess like it's 40, let's measure it. Well, considering we were only going 40 k's an hour, I was only slightly mistaken. When measuring from where I started breaking at the cones and this wheel, it's 45 meters from a speed of 40 kilometers an hour. Incredible. And so now we've worked out that acceleration takes 27 seconds, and uh, you need 45 meters to come from a stop from 40 k's. Now let's fit the modified tires and uh, do another round of testing. See how the car accelerates and how it's going to stop. Let's do this. There we have the wheels. And uh, after this has gotten dry, yes, some of the sand is still a bit loose, I mean, we didn't roll these around or anything. But still, even though these are really cold right now, they feel nice and coarse. Okay, out onto the ice and let's accelerate. And here we go. Yeah, you can definitely tell that the car is much more sure-footed. 30. And stop the watch. 16 seconds. Holy cow, now that is just... 16 compared to 27. That is a terrific result. Okay, let's see what we have left. After round one. About that. If I'm being honest, this isn't looking very good. But there is some left. Some of the sand has evacuated, but not all of it. And that is good. What about the other side? Here it's the same. Some patches were biting into the ice real good. I might have been pressing down on the gas pedal harder in those instances. The wheel slipped and some of the sand came off. But most of the tread is still covered in sand. There's still sand left on most of the surface. I had a bit of a delay when setting off. I'm attempting to get a better time. But I can already see that I won't be able to. And... Stop. This time, the results are a bit... Well, apparently we've lost some of the sand. Perhaps some of the tread got clogged with snow. As a result, the time was 20 seconds. Which is closer to 27, but still 7 seconds less. Okay, let's flip around and see what happens under braking. That's 40. And there you have the results. Honestly, I was expecting this to do way better. They fell a bit short in my eyes. Let's measure the distance. That time I measured up to the wheel, though I placed the cone next to the B-pillar. Let's go. Rolling along. Still rolling. Rolling. Six? Oh wow, six meters, 90 centimeters. Call that seven for good measure. Seven meters isn't even all that bad. Like... That's good, seven meters. But then I was expecting the results to be even better. 
For me to be stopping, well, not in the middle necessarily, obviously closer to this end, to the furthest cone. That said, I did think we'd stop a tad sooner. Anyway, maybe try again? 40 and with quite a bit of room to spare. This is getting interesting. Let's see. Oh, wow. How did this happen? I was able to stop even sooner this time. Even shorter stopping distance. Have these become uh, more effective after breaking in? I mean, that's almost a full car length right there. Let's try that again, I mean, why not? We have time, let's go for another run. Yeah, it is way more sure-footed with the sand. These are a far cry from just summer tires that are useless in these conditions. Unlike these, which accelerate and brake and 40. And here's the situation. The stopping distance amounts to 7, subtract from 45, and uh, you get anywhere from uh, 35 to 38 meters. And that is quite, um, 10 meters, 7, it's not the worst result imaginable. It's actually a noticeable difference. Okay, so we've done all of that, good on us, but we failed to do some tests on regular winter tires. Okay, let's see how they do then. Time for a tire change. Okay, now we're gonna try regular winter tires. Here we go. Better avoid wheel spin. That's 30. 40. Wow, my first attempt with the sand was 17 seconds. So this result is pretty, I mean... This is very interesting. What's wrong? Come on now. Come on, come on. That's 40. 17 seconds, so the result is pretty much the same. Okay then. Let's do a brake test then. Check the stopping distance. Oh my. So there's your result. I've almost made it to that same cone that marks the stopping distance with the sand tires. Let's try that again, I mean... This is actually quite interesting. Okay guys, the results of this test were quite unexpected, I have to say. Yeah, this is interesting for sure. What a recipe, I tell ya. So let me break it down. These are winter tires, and uh, these are just regular tires for everyday driving. Not for racing by any means. And they were purchased a while ago. I mean, you do tend to use them long term. But look here. Where the car stopped on sand tires is about the same spot as where the car stopped on proper winter tires. The ones we're running are studded, so the sand seems to have quite a nice effect on the stopping distance. It is fine grain, but it must have quite a bit of grip on a slippery surface. As for acceleration, first time I was able to post a time of 15 seconds to 40 k's, but then it was 17. With the sand, my first run was 17 seconds, the second one was 20. So the results are actually fairly similar. As for the summer tires, uh, yeah, 27 seconds to accelerate to 40 is just, I mean, 
That's enough time for a tea break. So these results were quite a surprise, actually. And so if the winter catches you by surprise and uh, you need to make it to a tire shop, grab some glue, some sand, modify your summer tires and carefully make your way to the tire shop. And uh, yeah, there you go. Those are the unexpected results. You saw it all for yourselves, and that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. That's it for this video, catch you guys later.